Clutch Crew. It's your Captain Clutch, aka Monkey D Clutch, aka Dewey Clutch. And today, as y'all can tell, man, we're gonna hop into Hunter X Hunter um, or Hunter Hunter. I just prefer saying Hunter X Hunter um, personally, and even though I know it's Hunter Hunter. But uh, last time we watched Hunter was a little while ago. Uh, it was last week. The arc is coming to a close soon. We're very close to the end. It feels like. And yeah, we're dealing again through on the bombers. And um, we devised a plan where Killua came up with a plan to uh, handle them because they're very close to having all the cards and being able to, you know, complete the game. And we can't allow that, you know what I'm saying? And uh, so, yeah, so Gon and Killua, Gon tried to train um, on this technique um, in time. He didn't have that much time, though. I think it was five to, well, it was a couple weeks, but he didn't have enough time to, to get it done. And so we scratched that. And now we're just gonna go with Killua's plan, uh, which is very interesting to me because usually the main character, you know, at the last second um, is able to, uh, you know, master the technique or something just in time to save the day. So it's really dope that in this case, you know, we have something different um, that Tagashi, you know, switched it up on us real fast. Cause I even, I even thought that he was gonna be able to master it um, to be honest with you, but that's just how Hunter is, man, and that's how Tagashi works, and man, I love it. It's just, you know, it's a, it's a nice little uh, change up to the uh, basic, you know, regular things that we're accustomed to, the basic tropes. Um, so that's dope. Um, but nonetheless, I'm very excited, and because you guys asked and you said that it would pair so well, I'm deciding to do three episodes today. I was only going to do two because I usually just do two a video because um, I just like doing it that way. But I'm going to do three for y'all today. And um, yeah, I'm gonna try to tone down uh, my uh, language. <laughs> I actually have my um, my grandmother and my father started uh, watching my videos. So, you know, they, they kind of just, you know, they couldn't, I'm grown. So obviously, you know, they're not gonna just tell me, oh, stop cussing. But they kind of made it apparent that, you know, uh, I don't need to be doing that as much. And I kind of understand where, where they're coming from, you know, so out of respect for them, um, I'm gonna try to tone it down. I'm gonna try to. It's gonna be hard because you know some some stuff gets me uh, riled up. But nonetheless, um, before we get ready to hop into the reaction, just want to let you guys know that down in the description below, if you're new here from YouTube, we have a couple of links. First, be in Patreon. Over on the Patreon, we're a lot of episodes ahead of what you're currently viewing on the channel, and that's for every single series. Um, there's a bunch of different tiers for you to uh, pledge to. So if you'd like to check it out, links down below. Um, we have full reactions, and the full reactions have the full entire episode in the reaction, the full opacity on the episodes themselves, and higher volume. So, um, yeah, a lot of people seem to like it, uh, so if you're interested, click the link down below. Another link we have is the link to the Discord. Over there on the Discord, um, we have a lot of Nakama, a lot of Nakama over there. Uh, me and KDX are there, so if you would like to ask us a question about anything or just to talk to us more, you know what I'm saying? On a more personal level, that's the best way to reach us. We also have the social medias down below as well. Um, so yeah, guys, with all that stuff being said, man, let's get ready to hop into Hunter. Yosh! Oh, man. Yeah, last time, these dudes did something, and now they're trapped. Tessagora and his people are trapped. Or they're probably dead. I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay, so they didn't... But I could have swore they came in there as well at the end. Well, I knew it was something about a relative or something. I said something like that. What? Oh, he's a billionaire, right? Yeah. So, it makes sense. Is that why he wanted them to go into the game? To see if he could get a wish to, like... You know, he wanted them to win the game. Is that why he hired all the hunters? To be able to, like, finish the game? and He thought it was a way to save her. Man, that's, that's tough. What was that card, though? Oh, 
this is it. Nah, we don't deal with no. <laughs> You'll never make a deal with these dudes ever. We gotta play the mind games. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. We're three steps ahead, <laughs> brother. Hell nah. <laughs> Still crazy. Insanity and insanity. No sanity. <laughs> I, lo I, lo I really love how you can travel. I wish I had these cards, like, in real life, I could travel like this. Mm. This is all part of the plan. This is all part of the plan. I'm not worried. No, I, see, I know, I knew it. Divide, divide and conquer. Nice. Woo. Pay attention, don't lose sight. Yeah, we already knew. <laughs> Jokes on you, clown. Damn. He's not gonna honor that. He's not gonna honor that shit, go on. <laughs> oh, okay, he going to, oh, yo, go and did it. He said, you're insane. Y'all both insane. That's facts. Yeah. They got a plan, though. They got a plan. Man, we already been through that. That shit don't hurt us. Hisoka already did that ten times worse than what you would do. Oh, he do got him leaking, though. Tough. It's cool, though. Khan never wants to. I love it though. I get him. I get what he's saying. Ooh. Damn. I love how realistic it is. How realistic it is though. Like Gon doesn't have some crazy out of nowhere power up to be able to defeat him. Like he's he's really not supposed to be able to beat him. Oh, so he wouldn't have help when she deals with him. She about to destroy this man. Exactly. Oh shit. Yo. I already knew. Damn. He didn't even see that coming. Tough. Nah, I believe in her. She got. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Um, nah, nah, I still believe Bisky got this. She got this. Whoa, whoa! What the fuck? 
Yo, she she hawk. Damn. What? Oh my god! <laughs> Just look at his face. What you mean? That's that's highly intelligent to do. Ace up her sleeve. Oh, she don't like the way she look like that. Damn, so that's her true form. Uh-oh. We've seen this move. I don't remember what it's called, though. Whoa! Lightning palm. Yo, yo, the same dude from, yo, you remember my man's from Yu Yu Hakusho has the yo-yo too. Wow. My brother ordered. She. Oh shit. Damn. He faked him out. Oh! Oh shit! Let's go! Three. Wow. Oh, that's like my man's whips. Remember when? Wow. You basically just try to tell him he's worthy? I must crush his will. You cannot crush that. Yo, you cannot crush that kid's will, man. No one can. Can Gon emerge victorious? Um, I'm pretty sure with the plan that they all devised that he's going to find a way. I don't see how or what he's going to do yet. But I feel like Gon was the best one suited to face him, um, you know, out of the three, you know, bombers. Uh, Gon was the best because of his mental fortitude and his undying will. Like, Gon is never going to give up. You're never going to break his will. <gasps> And that's what I was saying, excuse me. But that's what I was saying, like, going to someone who will die, you know, with the same level of will that, you know, they had all their life. There's nothing you can do to break it. I don't, I don't think there is. Um, or we haven't seen anyone be able to do it yet. Um, so I believe in his will a thousand percent. Uh, this episode is definitely fire. I liked how Killua, man, this dude is always... I said it a couple times throughout the video, but this dude is always like six steps ahead. Like he planned all this shit to a T. And I love how they use the strategy of divide and conquer. They got them all apart from each other. You know, we split them all up so that we could take them out, you know, one by one. Um, so they wouldn't have to, they couldn't get any help. They couldn't be near each other. We teleported them, ran away, got them as far away as possible. Um, so that they couldn't come to each other's aid, which was perfect. That's a perfect strategy. And then Killua using, um, he intentionally let himself get or left an opening so that the dude would see it and notice it. So that on his next attack, and Killua knew that he would pick something up to throw at him. So that on his next attack, he would go for it, leaving another, leaving a blind spot. The dude went for Killua's blind spot thinking that it was an actual blind spot, but it was really a way to get a blind spot out of him so that Killua could attack him without him even noticing. You know what I'm saying? And he held the fact that he had another yo-yo, which was perfect. And that heart that harps back to what Bisky was saying about one of the two reasons why she doesn't um stay in that form. Basically she says she's too macho. She's too much of a dude looking like a dude. Um so she hates that form. Um but that's really her true form. Whoa, that's crazy. Was not expecting that. She really she hawk. But um, another reason is to have the ace up her sleeve always, which 
is highly intelligent. You never want to let it be known. Or I always thought it was dumb. Um, certain instances, it's kind of cool. Like, for instance, if you tell somebody what you're going to do to them, to beat them, and then you do it, it's like you told them what you were going to do, and now it's, can they stop you? You get what I'm saying? Like, you throwing all the cards out on the table, you know what I'm saying? And you're saying, this is what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? But can you stop it? But in other instances, it's good to always have, you know, ace up your sleeve to not, you know, have your poker face and not show, you know, show your hand and stuff like that. So definitely a dope episode, man. Um, let's get ready to hop into the next one, guys. Yush! Victor and loser. Hey. GG's in the chat, fellas, for the bombers. Damn, gone. One side of gone and sleep, the other side's awake. <laughs> Nice. Nice. I was about to say, so then his hand it blew off. Woo! Again. Yeah, but I would rather do that than get our hand blown off. Gone loves he lives for this shit, bro. I'm telling you. He loves it. But one maniac one maniac isn't used to fighting other maniacs. That's crazy. Yeah, this my Yo, he's a freak. But are you gonna be able to land a hit though? That's the question. A little flower hasn't worked thus far. Stick to the plan. What? Gone. Gone. Plan just better be stupid fire. What? What'd he do? Is he off the Xanatron? <laughs> what? Did he throw? Did he backfire that shit? What the fuck did he do? Oh, he lost your concentration. That's it. Oh! Oh no, what happened? Look at his. Oh my god! Oh my god, gone! What the fuck are you doing? What is <laughs> what is wrong with this kid? Bro, this kid has a death wish, bro. Yeah, he's not fuck he's not right in the head. There's something wrong. Some screws are loose. No, there's no screws. Get 
Oh, it's pretty tough. <laughs> Yo, I would be tripping too. That's how I know he's like, he's fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, hold on, hold on. Gone on What is that? Bro, he just got his fucking wind cry crushed. Yo, this shit is so fucking... I'm so immersed in this right now, though. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo. I fucking love this kid, bro. With his windpipe, with his windpipe crushed. Distracted. What did that shit, that liquid do that he put on him though? It was just to stop little flower, that was it? Oh! Oh, shit! That's death, right? And he had a small hole. That's why he brung him there. He had a hole carved out waiting for him. Oh, that's game over. Nah. 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 Ain't no surrender, bitch. Us. Let's fucking go. Man, see, I, it gets me too pumped, man. I'm trying to keep it PG now. Damn, look at gone, man. Oh, that's the same car. That the dude wanted. Oh, that's majestic. <laughs> oh, so it, yeah, it heals. It heals anything. Okay. So that's what a billionaire do when it is. Nice. Fire, let's go. <laughs> Damn. Oh, nice. Nice. Wow. That's blessed. Let's go. Let's get it. We bought the clear green island. It ain't been cleared ever. This is about to be fire. Oh, what was that? Why was it glitching like that just now? A quiz? The card? The card they need? Ruler's Blessing as a prize. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I expected the Phantom Troop to pop up there. But, uh, yeah, so everyone is after them now since they collected all the cards, I'm guessing. 
I'm guessing that's why they pulled up. Um, but I just don't, I don't know how I feel about, first off, hold on, first off, before I get to that, this episode was fucking amazing. These three were very, well, these two I just watched were very dope, but I'm sure this next one would be fire as well. Um, super, super fire, and I'm glad y'all uh, asked me to do three, or y'all said it would be a good idea for me to, to do three, because um, I'm definitely going to do three today, but man, gone, the whole fucking situation the whole way that they handled it though who they are like the way that they treat people you know what i'm saying like even they said they admitted that they hated you know the bombers but they had planned before all of this even happened that they were gonna heal them like do you know how crazy that is to me like it's like these people are murderers and then killua made the point because the dude wanted to you know let them just die but Killua made the point, I'm an assassin. I've killed more people than probably all three of them combined. You get what I'm saying? And it's just like, that's why I always say the show operates in the gray area. There's just no black and white. You know, we're right in the gray. And we see that right here. Um, how, how, they, how their morals are, the type of people that they are. It's like, these people murder so many people, but they still don't want to kill them. You know, they still don't want to see them dead. And they're, they're going to let them live. And... and it's kind of weird. Like, it's weird because it's like, I get what my dude was saying. I understand where he's coming from. Me in that situation, I probably would have let him die too. I mean, I feel like they deserved it. Um, but when when go when we look at it and then we see how, from their perspective, because I feel like a lot of people have a hard time looking at things from other people's perspective. Like, I always try to put myself in their shoes. You get what I'm saying? Well, if there's logic behind it, I'll try to for the most part, put myself in their shoes and try to look at it from their point of view. And I get what he was saying because it's like, yeah, they did all of that stuff, but you know, um, why do we got to do what they did? You know what I'm saying? Why do we have to kill them? And you know, uh, Gohan's best friend is a killer. Like kill is literally in his name. You know, kill, I mean, he doesn't do it anymore, but um, it's just it's just very weird. I, I I know that to like regular people they wouldn't be able to understand it and they still like they all to kill because I'm still I'm still on that. Like I would have just let them die. You know what I'm saying? Because um, they deserve it. And but I like I did like how Kendryu like took his L once there was like it was over. Like he knew that there was no possible way that he could win, even you know with all of the fucking. Like, when he crushes Gon's windpipe right there, and, you know, that was some trickery, and that was some, uh, you know, but it's in a fight, you know what I'm saying? And this is a fight to the death. So, everything goes, you know what I'm saying? Um, but when he finally realized it was over, the minute he admitted defeat, and there was no possible way that um, he could find a way to win, you know, when he had him all tied up and stuff, he gave him, he gave him the book and stuff. But he had no choice, basically, you know what I'm saying? It was over. But... The way he acted in those moments, and the way that he cared about his two friends, I'm guessing that's who they are, it, sh it showed a different side of him, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know if that was to make us sympathize with him, because I don't sympathize with them, um, but I, I, at the same time, I don't know their motives, I don't know why they were trying so hard to win the game. Um, it could have been, this, there's many factors that go into it, so I'm only speaking from my perspective. Um, but I did like how he handled that and I don't know man. I just thought the whole everything was just dope man. Everything was just dope um, I like how Killua knew That the breath of the archangel was like they didn't have enough copies or whatever So it was over so it wouldn't have worked on them and he just let them get healed up And he was planning to heal his hands up, you know regularly like over time. So that was kind of dope I just like seeing Killua do shit like that because him and Gone are just Man, they can just take so much it can just take so much, man. I'm still, I'm still not over the fact that Gon risked being selfish. This was all for himself to prove that he could beat him. You know what I'm saying? Like the plan would have still worked regardless. This was his personal vendetta. Like you know what I'm saying? To be able to beat Genryu and, and find a way to beat him. And we know that's how Gon. Excuse me. We know that's how Gon is. So he was willing, willing to risk both his arms to win. And he did. That shit was gone. If it wasn't for Breath of the Archangel, he wouldn't have a hand right now. You know what I'm saying? And his other shit is already badly injured. That looked like it was pretty much done. And he still used it. He still used um, Rock, Paper, Rock twice or three times. 
Yeah, he still used it like three times way the shit injured. So man, that just shows the level of mental fortitude, will, um, determination, strength, power that this kid has, man. It, they're, they're just on another level, and I say it all the time, but it's really just amazing. It's really just amazing, bro. Um, but yeah, we saw the other players pop on in. Um, surrounding the squad. I don't know if it's because they collected all the cards and then we're gonna have the question. Probably, that's probably is what it is, but how did they know that they were the ones to do it? Because when she announced it, she said a player. You know what I'm saying? She didn't say who. So that's pretty interesting, I'm not sure. But the 100 questions thing, it's kind of just like, wow, we collected all of these cards. You know, fuck, you know how hard it is to get all these shits together? And now we have to answer you know, a quiz with a a quiz with a hundred questions about the cards. That's that makes sense though, because like you know, like um, Killua said, I think it was Killua that said it. Like, if people stole the cards, they wouldn't know much about them. You know, they were still in the shit, so they probably wouldn't read or know how to get them, or you know what I'm saying. Like, you wouldn't have as much knowledge if you just stole it. You get what I'm saying? Um, unless you were really paying attention, um, but. So it, it kind of is cool in a way, but it's just like, man, I feel like if I was in the game personally and I had to collect all these cards, risk my life every day to get this shit, and you know what I'm saying, and once I get all of them, I still have one left, and the only way to get that is to win a quiz. Somebody else could win a quiz, you know what I'm saying? I would feel like really, I would be really upset in that same situation, but it's still cool. It's a cool concept. It's just personally... I know for a fact that I wouldn't like that shit at all. Like, I'll be pissed. I'll be I'll be livid, bro. Real shit. Um, but we're going to see if they're going to be able to answer the questions and get the cards. Number zero. Um, what did they call it? Hold on. So they call it uh, number zero is the card, and it's called Ruler's Blessing. Um, that's a dope name to a card. Um, it's also funny how uh, card 99 was made panda. <laughs> I was like, well, that was funny, but I forgot to mention it. But, um... Yeah, so Ruler's Blessing is the last uh, card to collect. And it sounds pretty dope. I can only speculate to what it might be. Um, obviously, you get the Ruler's Blessing, the creator of the game's blessing, I'm guessing. Because, um, I mean, you know, basically, Ging is the god of this world, if you think about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so he's the ruler of this, of this world, of this game. Um, so maybe you get his blessing. Maybe it is a wish. I don't know. It would be dope. Maybe once you collect the car, Ging pops up and does something. I, I honestly have no idea. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's definitely uh, very uh, exciting and interesting. And with all that stuff being said, I think I talked far enough. So uh, let's get ready to hop into the next episode, guys. Yosh! We ready for y'all clowns, y'all scrubs. Mm, okay. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, everybody. Shit, I would do it too. That's smart. Facts. <laughs> what's gonna be the, what's gonna be the penalty gang's friends and true friends Ooh. Ooh. gang's friends probably gonna pop up huh nice nice let's go he got his shit off Never have to know who he was either. Now we get that freaky ass creature off you. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Gone. Yo, let's go. And we got to split nothing with nobody. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Boy, with this Hogwarts, we got an owl coming <laughs> delivering a letter. Oh, he has to go alone. Damn, I'm really happy going won that, bro. I didn't think he was going to win it, to be honest. Hunter got me cautious when every, something obvious happens. Like, it's like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> that quickly, right? Make a fortune exercise in them. Yo. Yo. Did he not know that he could he could have been did that though? Exercise them for all that money? Ugh. Yo, yo, that's still Gashi, bro. That's still Gashi. Y'all ever seen that iconic picture with Togashi with all of the fucking trash and dirt and shit around and him playing the game? <laughs> he would add that. I could not read it that fast, and it was look weird. But do they do that on purpose so we don't know what it says? Bro, how many new events? Jesus. Whoa! What? Oh, that's fucking, yo, that's a mate, yo. That's super dope, bro. Uh huh. List. Do one. Do one. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. List is the L. Razor. Mm. No, we don't care, bro. And we got a parade and shit popping? Yo. Yo. The goats. Oh, man. I just got so hungry. Always. It's every time watching anime. I haven't ate anything all day. So that's what you win. You get to use them in the real world. No, nah, no one does. Nobody know where that man is. He doesn't even know where he is. He gonna let two of them pick? Yeah. Yeah. What does it do? Which card is it? That's the necklace that he has? Yeah, I'm out of the loop. What the hell are you talking about? Facts. 
Killua chose that one. Paladin's necklace. What is that though? Blue planet. Gay. Love that necklace. That necklace dope though. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! Yo! <laughs> My best friend in the world, man! That's the first thing he said he was gonna do is introduce him to his best broski. I knew she was gonna do that. I'm not interested in men who already have kids. She the king. Damn. Wow, she said she'll get too attached. That's why she doesn't wanna. Couldn't couldn't have won this game without Bisky at all. We needed her. It's a fact. Whoa, did you say Nika? <laughs> Yo. Yo. Bro, nah. He's not going to be there, bro. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. on this cliffhanger oh man oh, shit. I'm gonna try very hard to react to Hunter again this week because I have to see this shit man I have to see this I really don't think it's Ging but this is what I'm saying Tagashi does this shit that you the, the shit that you think is gonna happen or that is not gonna happen happens you know what I'm saying it happens so, I don't know. This might really be him. Like, this might really be what's going to happen. But at the same time, it's like, no, I don't know. Like, this could probably carry on to another arc. Probably towards the end of the next arc. <sighs> so, I really don't know. But I fucking love how clever they were to use... You know, the necklace to change the car. Like, all, everything they did just now was amazing, bro. How they took a car they wasn't supposed to be able to take. And they took it because they transformed it. And it, it was just like, wow. Like, that was super clever, man. That was amazing. I still want to know what Blue Planet does. Because I still don't know. Like, it just looked, turned into, like, a little marble thing. But I don't... Like, it's like a, is, there a pla is that, like, a planet in your pocket that you can go to? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I honestly don't know, but it was dope. But um, I knew that Biscuit wasn't going to stay with them. She said she would get too attached. She loved them kids, man. You could tell that like, she really, uh, really grew to really love them. And she knew that if she got to stay with them any longer, it would have been too much for her. Um, and I guess it's better, she thinks it's better for her not to be attached to anyone. So I get it. Um, but I love how Gone, man. Like, like I always say, Kilo and Gone have one of the best friendships in anime that I've ever seen. Like he said, the first thing I'm gonna enter, do when I meet Pops is introduce Killua to him, man. And we saw Killua blushing. Killua always gets like that, all choked up and stuff when going. You know what I'm saying? And he tries to diffuse it by, um, you know, saying something like, idiot, something like, you know what I'm saying? Like just stuff like that to like, you know, when he gets those real like feelings, when, he, when we get into like that sensitive, 
you know, emotional feeling stuff for one another. He does it, you know, he's not used to it, so he tends to shy away. But I love that, man. Um, so imagine the first thing you want to do when you meet your father that you haven't met all your life. The first thing you want to do is introduce your bestest friend in the whole world to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how special they, that you have to be for something like that? Like, Killua is very special in Gon's eyes. Like, they're very special in each other's eyes, man. It's just dope. Um, but yeah, I, I really loved these three episodes, man. I'm super glad y'all said I, um, y'all said it was a good idea to react to them, cause it just, it makes it way better. Now the only the only complaint I have about reacting to these three in a row is that uh, I didn't get to see who gone if, if that was really Gon's father or not. If my nigga was Gon's father, my Nick, if that was Gon's father, um. But great stuff. Uh, did I miss anything? Oh, the parade was dope. And oh, I like that little Will, uh, Tagashi did with the dude playing the game and, and all the dirt and shit and him laying on the floor. That's an iconic picture that Tagashi has of we see and that he got photographed when he was playing the game. You see all these bags of trash and shit around or whatever. Um, so that was just dope. I immediately noticed that when I seen it. Uh, and I just like how the, the name of the game was like inspired by all of the first letters in their name, his friend's name. He changed my dude name to the one. But uh, yeah, definitely amazing episodes, man. Thank y'all so much for watching. Um, if you're new here, uh, please make sure you smash that like button. Also, don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what you thought of my reactions. Let me know what y'all thought of these dope episodes. Uh, like I said, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, join the Clutch Crew, Nakam Crew, whichever you want to call it. And as always, guys, peace.